Well, hello, everyone, and welcome in. It's me, Jermaine, and I'm back with another episode of The Morning Thoughts. I've got my regular cup of coffee, and I'd like to share with you your verbal cup of morning coffee, which is The Morning Thoughts. And when I bring you, you The Morning Thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, it's always in an attempt to give you something to motivate you, to inspire you, to give you something to think about, maybe even give you an opportunity to learn something, and sometimes even laugh. But most importantly, I always want you to pose to yourself somewhat of a question of, hmm, what, you know, what does it all mean when you really think about things? Well, what I want to share with you today is the fact that many of us, considering the times that we live in, ladies and gentlemen, have you ever thought about the things that you really don't want to face and what you do? when it comes to those things, most people have a tendency to simply put off or put away those things that they don't want to deal with and ignore them, whether it be finances, whether it be relationships, or even spirituality. When we as individuals don't want to deal with something, we have a strong tendency to ignore them. And that's what I want to share with you today with the morning thoughts. The title of the morning thoughts today is ignoring it won't make it go away. Again, ignoring it won't make it go away. There are many people who are currently suffering from an extreme case of IS. Now, IS, you might ask, well, what is that? Ignore syndrome. (laughs) I know that sounds kind of funny, but it is ignore syndrome. This is evident in how we've handled our relationships, our finances, and especially our spirituality. Now let's look at these individual things, starting with relationships. Now see, relationships require us to have a two-way street when it comes to communication. When challenges arise, we need to address them and not leave them unattended. Basically, ignore them. We are currently experiencing probably the most challenging financial crisis since the Great Depression. So as it relates to finances, Our current financial suffrage is a result of ignoring financial responsibilities and keeping up with simple disciplines. Now, spirituality is one that it it, it gets a little touchy because you have so many people believing so many different things. Spirituality, it seems that when we have become so full, uh, so depleted of the things that we are naturally and divinely given by the Most High God, which is power, strength, and knowledge, that that depletion has put been a draw down or, or, or a taking away of our true relationship or our spirituality. Now, there's a few quotes here that really support some of the things I'm I'm sharing with you when I say this. And one of them is strongholds are the areas in life we choose to be weak at or be weak in. Now, unfortunately, this is merely a trick of the enemy or the devil himself to persuade us to ignore our true source, which is the almighty God. Now, choosing not to believe in the devil won't protect you from him. That's something you got to know. Just because you don't believe in him doesn't mean that you'll be protected because you don't believe. The success of our relationships, our finances, and our spiritual well-being is dependent upon our mastery of the IS or ignore syndrome. See, it really just boils down to this. What we ignore the most has the potential 
to hurt us the most. And I hope, ladies and gentlemen, that this verbal cup of coffee has helped to inspire you, motivate you, give you something to think about, and I'll be back with you again real soon.